What's up, buns? We just got a new patch release and it's not looking too well. Stay with me though. It's going to be giving disappointed for like the first half of the video, but don't worry. I promise it has a happy ending. I have done all the new patch content related activities, got my new Manderville relic weapon, which look awesome by the way. Desperus does an amazing showcase of this on his channel every time these come out, so I'll link that below for you guys. I worked on the crafting gathering tools that came out and dived into floor 30 of the new deep dungeon Yurthos on stream earlier today actually. With doing all these, I can now confidently say without a doubt, this is just one big old letdown. And going through Reddit and just as far as my personal Bunboss Discord, a lot of people feel the same way. Now, I don't mind personally when patches don't have a lot of content. There is so much to do in game, so that's quite okay when it's just minor updates here and there. This patch was a little different, however, and probably overhyped, which is what I think caused kind of the community letdown to begin with. Personally, a lot of my friends in Final Fantasy and in Discord were really looking forward to the next Manderville Relic step. And it's literally just the same step as step one, 1500 tombstones of astronomy again. So hunt trains are going to be popping for the next month or duty roulettes while people grind this out. The thing is, I just got done grinding hunt trains for a month to get all the tombstones needed for all 19 weapons. So it kind of feels like I'm just having to hit the rewind button and do the same thing all over until the next batch. A free 630 weapon, I'll take Monday through Sunday, but on a brand new piece of relic content, I kind of felt like the mark was missed or the creativity was lacking in the department. I don't know if they were relying too heavily on the Hildebrand side quest, which I could take or leave. It's not my personal favorite series, but some people do love it. And there was only two times in this patch content that I was like, oh shit, this is cool. And one of them was the instant fight for Hildebrand. If you know, you know. I do have to give it to them. That was really, really fun and interesting. After that, I moved on to crafter tools. I had a lot of scripts to take on the first carpenter's tool. Looking at the difficulty of it and assessing it, how we were gonna tackle it with some of my other Discord members, we realized that it's the same difficulty as like two master recipe books ago. So none, really. Especially if you have any type of current crafters or gatherers gear. Shout out to my immersion in my discord for helping me this morning, put that all together and work it out. But essentially we figured out that you can one button macro with the new tools. And that was kind of a letdown. We even theorized that you can craft these new tools, probably the first two to four steps with 590 or even 560 crafter gears from a bit ago. Shout out to team craft for the ability to figure all that out. The difficulty for the first two steps equate to a master recipe book eight or nine. The sheer ease to get through it took the excitement right out of it. We just got done white script gathering to make all of our gatherers gear and we essentially just go right back into white script gathering as you need those in order to purchase the weapon and to get the materials for each of the crafts. Again, it kind of feels like you just hit the rewind button. After finishing for that, I had to get ready for stream today and we jumped into Deep Dungeon Orthos, ran this on stream blind with my community and holy crap, it was really so-so. Though I will say I have a little bias here because this kind of content is not my go-to content and not my favorite at all in any way, shape or form. I didn't really enjoy Palace of the Dead. I didn't really enjoy Heaven on High. So it kind of had the cards stacked against it. So I do not hold that against anyone at Final Fantasy 14. That's just a me problem. Really, only the other great thing about this patch is we finally got the Loperits, and I'm super stoked to see their tribal quest story as they are one of the best NPC characters in the game. Again, a little biased. I can't wait to learn more about them and see what kind of build out they do in that little room. Ultimately, though, thinking on this and coming back around full circle, Final Fantasy XIV is not infallible, and they are entitled to putting out routine content without groundbreaking changes every single time. I think sometimes we as a community or in our own heads overhype and put too much pressure that comes to a point where they just can't live up to unrealistic expectation every single patch drop. Now, do I think this patch was underwhelming? Absolutely. But having some grace for them, I think is important. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have the conversation at all and not understand how things can always improve or be better. But I am going to say it's OK that this one didn't live up to the Internet pre-hype. I want to know what you guys think, so let me know down below. You can catch me on this channel streaming every week, schedule in the Discord, or you can watch my vast library of Final Fantasy guides and tutorials on my channel, or simply just by clicking here.